We shared some tips and tricks on how to build media literacy skills to help you become a better consumer of media. If you haven't already watched them, check out our first round of videos on our YouTube channel or on our website, cmac.tv. In this series, we're going to talk about why media literacy is important for producers or creators of media messages. Media literacy is a two-way street. It's an important concept to understand for both consumers and creators alike. As a consumer, media literacy skills can help us spot fake news and find accurate and reliable sources of information. As a creator, we have a responsibility to our audiences to be that reliable source. First, Let's define what it means to be a creator of media messages. Simply put, a media creator is anyone who, well, creates media content. Creating media content is everything from making art, such as painting and sculpting, to producing films and YouTube videos, to writing and communicating either in print or in person, such as news stories and food blogs. That also includes posting original content to social media platforms. Yes, that means you are a media creator. Every time you create a meme to share on Facebook or post a photo to Instagram, you are creating media, and that media has a message. As creators, our purpose is to convey a message to our audience using the medium we've chosen. So that means all media content has a message. Think about that last thing you posted to your Instagram. What photo was it? What was the caption? What do you hope your followers saw in that post? Were you happy, sad, sharing exciting or troubling news? Those questions, and many more, make up the foundation of the message in the media content you created when you shared your photo. Now, maybe you don't ask yourself these questions when sharing updates on social media. Not many of us do. But whether you intended it or not, your post is media content that has a message for your audience. So as a creator of media, why should you care about the messages you put out into the world? Why is it important for creators to practice media literacy skills when sharing our messages? The answer is quite simple. Media creators hold a lot of power, and if not used appropriately, that power can result in unintended consequences. In the words of Uncle Ben, with great power comes great responsibility. Media literacy is our great responsibility. Now you might be thinking that I'm not talking to you. You might be thinking that not all content creators are the same, so how can we hold the everyday social media user to the same standard as, say, a journalist. And you're right. There are a variety of different types of media creators, and each plays a different role for their audience, with their own set of obligations to that audience. But we'll get into that in our next video. The point here is that all media, regardless of who created it, has a message. Therefore, all creators have a responsibility to those who interact with that message. Here's an example. If you're in a crowded room, you wouldn't yell fire unless you knew for a fact that there was a fire. Aside from it being illegal, you have a responsibility to everyone in that room to not shout fire. Why? Because doing so would create an unnecessary panic that could cause harm. If everyone is panicked enough, they might all try to run out of the very crowded room at once. Some people might fall and be trampled by others trying to run out. The panic itself could trigger a heart attack in someone who has a heart condition. The list goes on. By entering that room, everyone holds the same responsibility. They agree not to shout false statements that create a panic that could potentially harm others in that room. A firefighter in that scenario might have a bigger responsibility than a store clerk or someone not in a position of authority when it comes to things like fires. But everyone in that room holds that basic level of responsibility. They will not shout fire unless, in fact, there was one. Media creators of all backgrounds have a basic level of responsibility to their audiences to create content rooted in facts that can be verified. By creating content that is false or lacks a foundation based in fact, you contribute to the spread of inaccurate information. You're shouting fire when there is no fire. An everyday social media user might not be held to the same standard as a journalist, but they still have a duty to their audience to create and share reliable, verifiable information. You might be thinking that the fire analogy is a little extreme, but here's why it's not. Media is a powerful communication tool. Every day it changes and expands, and we learn more and more ways to create and share content. And because it is such a massive system, once something is out there, it is hard to get it back. If you yell fire in a crowded room, it's impossible to take those words back. They've already been said. You can apologize or say you were just kidding, but not everyone will hear that. The same is true for media content we create. 
We might be able to take the video down or write a retraction, but we can't guarantee that everyone who interacted with our first message will see the second. Some of the people who heard fire may have already run out of the room. It's for this reason that we, as creators, have to do our best to create content that is accurate. One of the ways we do this is by becoming aware of our own personal bias. According to dictionary.com, bias is a particular tendency, trend, inclination, feeling, or opinion, especially one that is preconceived or unreasoned. Personal bias, then, are those trends, feelings, or opinions that we hold true based on our personal beliefs, perceptions, and experiences. As human beings, we all have bias. It's normal, and on its face, it isn't necessarily a bad thing. When creating media, it is natural that our personal bias comes through in our work. It is, after all, our work. It becomes a problem, though, when we present our personal bias as facts in the media we create. One way to avoid doing this is to reflect and get clear within ourselves about what we want to create and why. Project Look Sharp at Ithaca College, a nonprofit outreach program that provides resources to help educators teach media literacy, developed a series of questions media creators need to ask themselves before creating something. Questions about purpose. Why am I making this and for whom? Content. What messages do I want to convey? Is my representation of information and ideas fair? Context. How might cultural context influence the way people interpret my message? And credibility. Is the information in this message accurate? And how will the audience know that? Remember, we have a responsibility to our audience. By taking some time to reflect on these questions, we honor that duty and further our effort to be a reliable source for our audience. Now, in some cases, you might not want to be a reliable source. Maybe you just want to entertain your audiences, share jokes or commentary about what's happening in the world. That's fine. Just be transparent about it. If your blog is about ridiculous food recipes that you'd never expect anyone to actually recreate, cool. But make sure your audience knows that. Satirical news sites are a great example of this. Let's look at The Onion a satirical news site that's been around since the 90s. Right off the bat, the homepage looks like every other news website, with photos and headlines categorized by topics stacked on the page. These categories and the site layout mirror sites like NBC or ABC and other official news organization websites. But on The Onion, everything is fake. And that's the point. The Onion is widely known as satirical news, and many don't take it very seriously. The main reason for this is that their stories are obviously and unambiguously ridiculous, and they clearly disclose that on their website. The University of Central Florida Library provides information on fake news and fact-checking to help students when they conduct research. They noted that it should be obvious when a site's stories are outrageous or intended to entertain through satire. Sites like The Onion are obviously outrageous. They aim to entertain through satirical writing, and they are pretty transparent about it. They aren't pretending to be a news source. The Onion works to maintain transparency by placing signposts in their articles and on their website to let people know they are not to be taken seriously. They place these signposts out of a responsibility to their audience. And that's the key. Media literacy is a two-way street. We need it as consumers in order to read and understand the signposts, and we need it as producers to recognize when to put up those signposts. As creators, we have an obligation to our audience to represent ourselves accurately. We must be transparent in our work so we don't misrepresent ourselves or mislead our audience. We can't pretend to be something we aren't, just as much as we can't yell fire in a crowded room. At least, we shouldn't. For more on media literacy, please visit our website, cmac.tv. Thank <laughs> you.